you can see hands on and visually what I do on a regular basis. Every time I meet a horse, I go up to the horse, just like everyone is doing, but actually if you could step back so then people can see, um, and then you can pet him after, I promise. But just so that, um, like how I come up to a horse, do I go up on the side or do I go on the front? Does anyone know that question? Yes, because what happens if you go straight on to a horse, they can't see in front of them. And so potentially they could get scared. <laughs> he was just looking at that hat too. He like, doesn't care baby. at all. Oh, he did not do anything. Okay, so let's see if we can. It's okay. Oh, you have something to say. Okay. That is That's right. very true. So what I'm going to do is, do you remember when I was talking about the Golgi nerve apparatus at the beginning of the neck? So on minis, right, they're tiny, but they have all the bones and the skeletal system that a, and a, that a big horse has. So it's going to be really close to their ears because we have the pole here, and then we have the ear, and then we have the atlas. That That is the beginning um, of the spinal uh, column. Okay, Which you guys have too, pole. right? We Everybody yeah, has an atlas. We do. <laughs> and so then it's right behind that atlas. And then there's this spot. And that is the beginning. So I'm going to press and see. So he's a little uncomfortable here. But guess what? As I keep <laughs> he's pressing, pressing he's going to relax. Because what I'm doing is <laughs> he's already seen that. Do you see how Look he's at his head dropping. <laughs> like, oh, sweet, sweetie. And the licking and chewing, do you see that? That is a really good sign. It's called the parasympathetic release. So it's just pretty much relaxation instead of tension, right? Or holding your muscles tight. So I'm going to keep going. So that's called the um, neuromuscular therapy kind of thing, your deep tissue. I'm really focusing on getting in there. Okay, so then I'm going to do another technique called the effleurage. And this you can use all over their body. And sometimes you go light pressure, then you can go medium and deep. Okay, no, 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 you stay there. Okay, so then we have, I'm going down the front leg. Oh, this, by the way, is also horse training in progress. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, totally. It's okay. Because the thing is, is good boy. Good boy. So I just do see now. You got to watch his face because he's gonna keep doing signs of relaxation, and we're hoping for a yawn. Okay. So have you ever seen a horse yawn? Yes. Yes. Is it pretty funny? I think it's so funny. I like. I absolutely love that part. Like when I get a horse to yawn. So I'm gonna go behind the shoulder blade, and he's looking at me. So. Me, as a massage therapist, I need to watch that. Yep. Oh, good boy. I always am looking at the horse. I'm never going to take my eyes off. I can look at someone else for a second and then go over that. You know what I mean? But that kind of feeling, because you don't want to get into a place where you're in danger. Chewing. Right? There, he's, he's really enjoying it. So now I'm going to go... This is a really quick demo, okay, you guys, because I don't want to do a whole hour, right? So I'm going to work on the back. Okay, it's good. Oh, I know it's okay. So these are the intercostal muscles. Do you know what are these? Where's the skeleton? What, what part of the, um, there's the ribs here, okay? So in between each rib has the intercostal muscles, okay? So sometimes those can get pretty tense. And they can actually look like the rib is out. And that's what a lot of chiropractors will adjust. And really, it's because the muscles are too tight around that area and to make it um, just... Bulge. Just, yes. And you'll see... Bulge. Yeah, bulge. Kind of. mm -hmm. But you see that more in horses that are actually carrying people as opposed oh, completely. to this. Oh, completely, yeah. So, and minis are really small, right? So it's easier for me to massage, actually. Like, a lot of times I'll even just sit down on a chair, you know, because it's like, oh, shoot, my yes. back's hurting. As opposed to, you guys saw my horse, right? When yeah. he's he went in now, horse. but, um, so bigger. she would have to stand on a hay bale to, or a ladder yeah, to a do ladder. him. Something. Sometimes. Something. 
So a lot of my on the horses back then. <laughs> a lot of my techniques are effleurage. And he's already, I mean, he's already like relaxed already. Um, <laughs> See that little shake he just did? What is that? Is that like? So that's, she's shaking it from the flies. Oh. So, and then sometimes the, um, I'm trying to, yeah, this is a fly. Hey, 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 I'm right here. You gotta pay attention. You're okay. Not gonna run into me. Please. You're okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find a little bit of a, oh, there we go. Okay, so if, it's really hard to see, but as a result of, um, oh, there you go. He's checking me out. Are you pressing on something? So sometimes when I press <laughs> on something, I know, right? <laughs> see, that's the only part about this job, you get dirty. But almost any horse thing, you get dirty. Okay, so let's see. Okay, can we stop moving, please? Okay. We'll just go on this side. Nope. <laughs> so, it's meh. like, I might be done with this. Even okay, okay. Yeah, we can do that. But um, Come here. a lot of it is pressure point therapy, right? And if you start to learn Good different boy. ways of where the muscles start and end, you can find those spots where you can really bring um, those like happy hormones so they like feel good. Like, has anyone ever gotten a massage before? Okay, oh. how, how do you feel when you get up off that table and you're like, <sighs> like, you lay there for about 10 minutes before you get up. Yeah, yeah right. so you can't even really move. They're so, so relaxed. And Sometimes horses, people just sleep through their massages, yeah. right? Yeah. Horses can um, act that way too. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, um, but do you see how he's like pushing into me? He's like, oh, I want you to keep going deeper. Okay. Yeah, because he knows. And so this is this soft right here is nice, but up here is a little tighter. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Also, he is um, trying to groom on me. Yes. So that is very, um, very. Did you guys? Could you guys see his little nose was kind of doing this? So that's what they do to each other. So he was feeling like she was grooming him, and so he was doing the "I'm going to groom you back" motion. Mm -hmm. So, so he was doing that on my leg. <laughs> yeah, a lot of horses will do that because they'll think that you're grooming them when you do that. Um, that hurts a little bit. Yeah, it's a little tender, but that's okay. We'll be careful. Good boy. Good boy. And a lot of times you have to wait for that release. So the release that he's going to give me is like a blinking of an eye or just overall like, uh, like sometimes horses sigh really big. Uh, yeah, they do. Or they yawn, or you know, whatever. Hi. So that, that's a to cool me? thing to talk about too, though. Actually, the breathing. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, when you work with horses, they are so sensitive to everything about you, about your emotions, about everything. And so, um, the horse did a big release by doing a big sigh. But it's something that works awesome for people too. So if you're feeling kind of tense. Um, and particularly before you go to work with the horse, you can take a big breath and you just let it out. If you do it right now, you're going to feel better right now. I guarantee it. So that's what the horse is doing too. And also, is it okay when I interject this stuff? Yes, <laughs> by all means. You're like, we're working together, right? Is that what we're doing? Um, I would also say that, you know how people say that horses sense your fear? Have you ever heard that? Okay. No. Same thing with horses sensing how calm you are, how relaxed you are. And the reason Especially being, the what? Especially when you're in the saddle. Oh yeah, for sure. Like the that. reason being, it's okay, okay buddy. Thank you. The reason being is that they actually can hear your heartbeat up to like, what is it? Like 40 feet away, okay? Because like how in the world do you think, like I can't hear your heartbeat right now. Like I have no idea. If you're really stressed, oh, actually I do because you're not stressed because you're smiling and you know, like I can read other body language, right? But I can't hear your heartbeat right now. You could be really nervous and you're just totally faking it, but I'm pretty sure you're not. Um, but they can hear your heartbeat. So they can feel that tension. And so as I come up and I'm a massage therapist, I don't want them to feel tension from me, okay? I want them to know that I am not out to hurt them in any way. I want them to feel comfortable and to trust me. So sometimes that takes longer. Some horses have been abused, like that one horse that I was talking about. 
um, and he just it, it's just challenging so um, that's I guess that's all I sort of wanted to say about <laughs> the <Zot. laughs> unless um, yeah unless you have other questions <laughs> okay. Awesome. I'll get until so yeah. um how as a wrap up, this is Mel Hitchcock with Mel's Equestrian Services. I'm an equine massage therapist as well as a professional body clipper and a dressage trainer. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Mel's Equestrian Services as well as on my YouTube channel at Mel's Equestrian Services. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.